Umar Farouk Abdelmutalab made a video to be released when he died. He planned to kill himself and hundreds of others in the skies over the US. The student from Nigeria smuggled explosives onto a flight in his underwear. Prosecutors staged a demonstration of what might have happened. But something went wrong. Abdul Mutalab's trousers burst into flames. Passengers and crew grabbed him. The plane landed safely. He admitted eight charges, including the attempted murder of all 289 people on board the flight from Europe to the US on Christmas Day 2009. Abdul Mutalab told the court his actions were in protest at US foreign policy and the treatment of Muslims. Judge Nancy Edmonds said... The defendant has stated, and it is clear, that he has enormous motivation to carry out another terrorist attack. This court has no ability to control the defendant's motivation, which does appear to be unchanged. However, I can control the defendant's opportunity to carry out those actions. She jailed him for life. He doesn't show any remorse. He will kill again. If he get a chance, he's going to do the same thing. A remorseless terrorist has been defeated. Prosecutors say the attack was planned by radical American cleric Anwar al awlaki he was killed in an American drone strike in Yemen last year. Said Mustafa provided Abdul Mutalab with legal advice ahead of his trial. I never imagined that that you know he would be like brainwashed. He's highly educated, very smart, very brilliant, and I, I don't know what happened to him. Till this day I don't even know. Abdul Mutalab's father, a prominent Nigerian, says he warned the authorities about his son. He was placed on a U.S. watch list, but was never blocked from flying. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.